Hey there, good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning, everybody. How is everybody? I'm Michelle Peterson. Welcome to today's Periscope. Welcome. As we're waiting for people to jump on, let me introduce myself. My name is Michelle Peterson. I am a direct response copywriter and online digital marketing strategist. I collaborate with creative entrepreneurs and business owners to help them tell their stories and make more money. Welcome to you if you are live on the app. If you are live on the web on a browser, if you're on the replay or if you have found us on YouTube, however you are joining us today, welcome. I am so glad that you are taking the time to join us. I periscope every morning, every, excuse me, every weekday morning, Monday through Friday, on um, tips, strategies, tools, resources, uh, insider insights um, to help you grow your business. And today, that's, that's the topic for today is, is how do you get more sales? And I would like to uh, propose, I would like to um, suggest that one way to get more sales is to actually stop trying to sell people on your product and service, right? So um, I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive, but, but think about it. We all, we're, we're, consum we're all consumers as well as business owners and entrepreneurs, right? And I don't know about you, but I don't like to be, you know, sold things. I, you know, our, me and my husband, we go out of our way to avoid like the car sales, used car salesman kind of mentality person. Um, you know, I just don't want to be sold to. And it puts me off instead of, instead of, you know, getting me to buy it, it really kind of puts me off. So um, the better way, and of course I'm not saying that you can't, that you, you never want to sell at all, because of course you do. Um, but the better way, instead of just hammering people over the head with your sales message, is to build a relationship with them first, right? So, you know, you can do that in a multiple, a multitude of ways. Um, you know, relationship building is all about creating a community, creating, um, giving value first. So whether that is, you know, whether you build a community on social media, for example, whether you, so whether that looks like, if that's Facebook for you, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Periscope, um, build that community first and, and really provide value. Really help solve some problems that your, your audience has in a real way, right? Um, in a real way. That, that's, I think, the key. It has to be, I think, your, your efforts here at, at relationship marketing really have to be sincere and valuable to your audience. Right, um, so I think that's that's one of the biggest keys. So, you, like I say, you can do that on social media. You can build your own list because, really, if you're if you're building a community on social media, yes, that's great. You're reaching people where they're at, but at the same time, um, Brian Clark likes to say this. It's it's like you're you're sharecropping on somebody else's land, right? And you want to own your own land. You want to own the, uh, your own land and build your community on your own land. So that's why we all suggest to build a build your own email list because then if Facebook kicks you out, if Facebook freezes your account, if Instagram goes out of business, uh, I'm not saying that they will, but I mean, 
if, if, right, the big if, um, you still have your community that you can reach out to, right? So that's why it's so important to build your own list. And so, like I say, so you can build your, build your relationship first and, and you can do it on social. You can, from social, then take them onto your list or just build them from, build your list immediately. Great ways to build your list in a relationship, um, driven, uh, method would be to offer that, that free gift, that freemium, the, some people call it a lead magnet, a free gift, a free offer, um, something that, um, provides value that, that somebody wants to opt in and give you and trade their email address, um, for, right? So it's, it's again, you want it to be, Something good, something really valuable that solves a problem that your your audience is having, right? So we, you're building a list, you're, you're you're building a community, an audience on social. You're building your own list so that you're not sharecropping and you you own the property that that you know you're building your community on. Um, and then you're reaching out to these people. You're staying in front of these people, they've already said, hey, I'm interested in you. I'm interested in what you have to say. I'm interested in your products and services, but maybe just not yet, right? If they're in your, if they're, if they're in your um, social community, if they're on your email list, they have raised their hands and said, yes, give me more, give me more information. Um, keep in contact with me. I, I like what I'm hearing. If I'm not buying yet, it's not because I'm not interested. It's, it just may be not the right time, or it may be just that I'm not. I haven't heard enough, right? I have. I don't know, like, and trust you enough quite yet. And so that's why the relationship building is so powerful, right? We we know that we we all like to buy from those people that we know, like, and trust, and and this relationship marketing model really helps build that helps build your credibility, helps build um, the ability for people to know, like, and trust you. Does that make sense? So as you've built your, your social following and you've built your own email list, you also then want to keep up to date and follow up with, with these people who have already raised their hands and um, said yes. You know, tell me more, essentially, is what they're telling you. So. In addition to your free gift, that's that's the first step, right? That is just the very first step of that relationship. But then you want to have your follow-up um, sequences in place. Some people call them a, this a funnel model as well. Um, you need that that the next steps to lead them further and further down the path of becoming your customer, your paying client or customer, right? So how, what that looks like may be, um, you know, maybe it's weekly email blasts from you. Maybe it's a daily. Maybe it is curated content that you're sharing with them. Maybe it's your own content that you're sharing with them. You know, and by curated content, what I mean is I found this, these, you know, three awesome articles by these three people who are all talking about um, this topic. And I agree, and I think that they have something really valuable to say. I think you would like it too. And so here is their content. That's what I'm talking about, curated content. Of course, original content is you taking the time to put together your own articles and, and information out there, videos perhaps. Um, Maybe it's just audio stuff, you know, like a podcast. So creating that content, whether it's yours or curated from outside sources, helps give them more information to help them succeed. This content, by the way, needs to showcase your expertise and get them moving further along that, that path to becoming your um, customer or client, right? So, so don't be afraid to give away really valuable, really good content here, right? Um, 
people who are just going to take your content and do things on their own are not your ideal client anyway. So um, don't worry about that. You know, give away really valuable, useful, um, top-notch content here. Okay. Um, maybe that looks like at some point offering a really low, um, low risk. So very, you know, very low cost um, first step to doing business with you. Ryan Dice at Digital Marketer, he calls this the tripwire offer. And he says, you know, if you have, you know, $100 eventual offer, hundreds of dollar eventual offer, thousands of dollar eventual offer, whatever that eventual offer is, you need to, they need to take little baby steps to work their way up there. So the very first thing that you want to do is, is, is this tripwire, this idea of the tripwire, and that is getting them to, like I say, it's a very low uh, monetary investment, but the, now, it, now they've exchanged money with you. They've not just given you their email address, they've given you money. And so, so they're one, that one more step closer to being one of your, you know, your ideal, your top-notch customers. Okay, so, so a tripwire would be, you know, it would be something very, still very high value, but something that you can provide at a low cost to them. And, and by low cost, we're talking like under 10, under $20, right? So it's, it's, it's something that, oh yeah, I can, I can do that. That's, you know, it's, it's, it's a no, like a no brainer kind of thing. They're not going to have to get approval. They're not going to have to, you know, talk to their spouse. Um, it's something that they can just, you know, easily, yeah, no brainer kind of thing do. Less than the cost of a lunch, done kind of a thing, right? But like I say, it's still building them, that they're building that relationship um, so that when you do this, you're going to end up with, um, instead of just that one, if one big sale right at, at, up front, um, which sounds appealing, but think of it this way. You can have that the, the one sale right here in your hand that you've worked really hard to get. I mean, you've pounded them and pounded them and you finally got this one sale, right? Or you could take the more uh, gentle, the more relationship approach and you can um, build them into a real loyal following. So instead of just that one sale, now you have them for life or, you know, for 10 years. For life is awesome, right? But you have them as a more, you have long, you have more, we call it lifetime customer value. Uh, so you have, you actually will, you get more from that customer by building the relationship with them. Uh, you know, think of it like a restaurant, okay? Somebody comes in to your restaurant, would you rather have them just come in one time or would you rather have them come back week after week after week because they love your food? Right, so that's the kind of idea that you're you're trying to you know you switch you have to switch your mindset, right? So yes, we we all want the sales and we want them right now, but if you can switch that mindset from from sell 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 to providing value and create and developing that relationship, you're really going to be better off in the long in the in the long run. Um, by looking at the bigger picture, you're going to be, you're, you're going to, you're going to do, you're going to have better success for your business. You're going to be building a bigger, a bigger and stronger tribe um, because, you, you know, it's, it's like you're investing in them as well as them investing in you. So it's this reciprocal kind of thing. And that's powerful for us as people. Right when when we think that somebody has um, our best interests at heart, that they really care about us, um, that that does make a difference, right? Especially in this kind of um, world where we're competing with so many different people out there. I mean, the the marketplace for so many of us is so saturated. We really have to figure out how do we set ourselves apart and and you know, build that fence around, you know, our, Dan Kenny calls it our herd. Um, how do we keep our, our people close to us and, and keep them from straying? 
and and most of the experts will tell you that the way you do that is by building that relationship building a strong relationship and how do you build a strong relationship is you stop selling and you focus more on giving value always give value first right so I hope this has been helpful um, if you have any questions uh, I, I haven't seen any flight but flow by yet but if you do have any questions type them in if you would rather reach out to me one-to-one -one, please do uh, you can find all of my contact information on my website which you'll see on the on the title of the scope but it is exactly right webcontent.com so exactly right w-r-i-t-e because I am a writer exactly right webcontent.com all of my content all of my contact information is there I would love for you to hear from you uh, by the way I did hear from somebody who received my email my excuse me my new my email newsletter over um, last week and so it's really cool to hear from people hear back from people I, I really appreciate that so um, so I would love to hear from you too reach out to me through my website reach out to me on Twitter I am Michelle Peterson there too uh, or you can reach out to me on Facebook LinkedIn um, anywhere so I hope this really has been helpful uh, please share it with others if you have found it helpful share with other people that you think would also find it valuable and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow thank you so much for being here uh, tomorrow at 8 30 a.m. ish Pacific time I am in California so um, until then make it a great day remember to build those relationships with your prospects and with your current clients and customers to keep them um, for life thank you I appreciate you being here I appreciate your time I wish you all the best bye for now